Vlogtober, day 28. I guess it's Instacart day. I had a shift from 9 to 11 and I got one order then. It was like $13, I went to Sam's, it was relatively easy. And then the on-demand orders, which are still kind of relatively new, I usually am not able to even have a chance to look at it before it gets snagged up. Well, I've gotten two so far. One was like a $10 one, I went to Albertsons, and this one was, I think it was like $14. And I'm at Sprouts now to shop it. And it's like 4.30 p.m. I went by Walmart earlier to look for some stuff for tomorrow because me and Zylania, we're gonna go watch Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I'm trying to work on something for that. I'm gonna do this Sprouts shop and then I think I'm gonna try to go to the Dollar Tree to look for a couple things. super late I was trying to edit a video it just took a long time even though it's kind of relatively short there was a lot of stuff I was putting together for it I hope you like my apron transformation that apron was like maybe six dollars with tax from Walmart it was actually in the craft section so that you can design your own apron basically plus my grandma had some of that lace ribbon which is what I used I think it was definitely worth it. It took like two hours. With the help of my mom, she helped me pin the waist part because the waist sat really low on my hips. So we pinned that part up. First I added the lace detailing to the top part. That way I could see how much lacing I had left for the bottom because I did want to dress up the top just a little bit. If I had more time or more effort, I could have put lace detailing like around the neck. I put the apron back on and I lifted it up to where the waist was comfortable, where I could tie it. And so that made my separation for the waist. Because I have plenty of length, I cut off the ties so that I could reattach them later. After I sewed down the waist, I went ahead and laid out the rest of the lace from the top on the bottom to see just how big I could make the bottom. I was going for that rounded made apron look and when I was doing the seam I added the ties back in so that they would be sewn into place. It was really kind of simple. I didn't need my mom's help to pin it at the waist correctly. Like I could have done it. It would have taken a lot more time by myself to try to get it straight so that was a huge help. If you have a little bit of sewing skills you can turn a chef's apron into a cute little maid apron. And that's exactly what I did for Rocky Horror Picture Show. I also went and picked up a boa. That was almost $8 at Savers, but I will definitely use it for future Rocky Horror Picture Show expeditions or other things I might need a boa for. And you'll see the outfit all come together tomorrow. I just wear some other stuff that I have, but I think the apron is really good what's going to be what makes the costume or the outfit for Rocky Horror. I think it'll all come together really well. Definitely worth it for six bucks. I'm gonna go to bed. It is well after three o'clock. I am gonna let this render. I am trying so hard to catch up on videos, but obviously I'm quite behind. We will see how that goes, but I hope you have been enjoying this. Good night.